Hey guys, this is Julie. I'm going to take a look at a strategy that we can talk about on Wednesday, uh, the opening range strategy. Um, the JATS profit target indicator was developed to reach time series ranges, so the first hour of the trade session is a pretty good range to try to hit. So you can hit the 34% and the 68% of it. Uh, it's like hitting the side of a barn pretty regularly once you get the direction right if it is going to be a range extension type opportunity. So how I like to address that is just wait until the 15 minute range breaks. And if I break the 15 minute one, then I'll reach for these targets at the higher levels in the uh, one hour IB. So I'll try to get the one hour IB uh, one and two. Um, so that is the strategy and you know, it over 150 sessions, you can back test this. I'll give you the template um, using a one minute bar. It is profitable, so it would be a forward looking expectancy for you to build other conditions around it. I'm just using really one entry or two max, no more. And I'm limiting, so I've got it to stop trading at a win and two losses. And it's between 8.30 and noon. That's it. So I'm just trying to hit the side of a barn. Like I said, uh, go out uh, in time for that range um, according to that, you know, first 34% of that one hour range. So that's a, you know, that's a wide barn. Right, so if you're if you've got a directional indication, it's pretty high odds that you can hit that one. And if that one, you know, gets to target, then I give a permissive to fire up order set B, and that would be conditioned upon if that target A was reached. So if that was reached, then we can go out a little bit further in that one hour IB range and try to hit the 68% um, of that range. So, you know, 68% of the first hour of trading range, um, if it is moving directionally, that is the goal. And simple little strategy, like I said, limit your time, limit your uh, orders, and um, fixed rule just using the current volatility of those ranges and it had that positive expectancy. Now to, to get this even higher, um, this will blow your mind, we can take the range over that 14 period, so that 34% was um, 38 points, 38.75 the 68% was 77.25 points and the 95% is 108 points. So if we create a bar, a Unirico bar with that right here, go to the uh, data series, change your bar type to Unirico. I'll show you how to get the Unirico bar if you don't have it. And then I'm just using that 34% as my tick trend. My offset is the PT2 78 and my tick reversal is the full range. I put 109, give it a point. So with that, um, it the strategy was able to um, do even better. So about 50% improvement, which is phenomenal. So um, everything, the percent profitability, you know, your profit factor, all of that. So with that said, the bar is artificial. So that open, you know, subject to not being exactly there is more or less on the close of the prior bar. Um, and so uh, still a remarked, remarkable uh, advantage to try to put the bar 
in the size of the volatility and then do an execution and trade to, you know, in an easily obtainable range. If the volatility has been low, you know, you want to stay inside that first hour IB. If the volatility is expected to be high, then we can widen the ranges and that's when we would want to go to our uh, daily range and or weekly or monthly, you know, widen, widen, widen out. Uh, and especially look at the calendar where you are relative to uh, a new period of time. So those option contracts, are you at the beginning of the month, which, you know, has much more room to run. Um, so versus being at the end of the month, you're either stuck in the middle or you're pinned at a um, upper level. So a lot of the time. It's always feast or famine, isn't it? But having a strategy, you know, I envisioned when I created this, can I get to the 15 minute one? Can I get to the 15 minute two? And that's what this is. So you can envelope or, you know, channel your time series. You can do the 15 minute range. You can do the 30 minute. You can do the 60 minute. And then you can do the daily. Um, you can do them all. <laughs> so this is something that we'll talk about in greater detail, especially about, you know, working with these artificial bars and, you know, getting that concept. It's like a regression channel, isn't it? You just put yourself inside that channel and you have an idea where your risk is going to be uh, inside that, you know, one hour range and try to navigate uh, positionally going up to a target. I mean, there's many ways to monetize that inside that range going up there to the target. So uh, we're just like having that one lot on there and trade a target. Just simple as that. K-I-S-S. -S. All right, guys. Um, last day for that um, opportunity to get a good price on the indicator. So come in and take advantage uh, through today, lock you in for 12 months, cancel any time, but at least you won't get a price increase. Uh, we're going to be making it the regular price uh, after today. And don't forget, Earn to Trade has a special also going on. It actually expires the 9th, uh, so got a couple more days uh, left on their offer of 50% off of all uh, gauntlets and uh, trader career paths so definitely check over um, check over to their page and see about getting into uh, one of these uh, trader funding programs uh, definitely take advantage of this great price uh, also you know meet their specific requirements um, for that challenge and receive a funding offer so uh, let's do it together, right? Me and you will do this um, one hour IB uh, strategy. Uh, that's what I'll be focusing on um, or my outside targets to reach when those opportunities present themselves. Um, have some other tricks up my sleeve to help me, you know, determine is it going to be, you know, a range expansion day or are we going to be hugging inside these ones inside the one hour IB one and the lower time frame 15 minute um, and talk about how you can use um, the JATS oscillator uh, on these time frames to, to help you uh, decide whether it's a good uh, opportunity for that range expansion or if you think low volatility is going to keep it inside keep it inside the ones um, uh, will help you, you know, base a decision whether to take a range breakout trade and how far do you want to go. All right, we'll talk to you Wednesday. Thank you so much.